We are going to be making a smoked loin of wild boar, a rye bread salad, and we're gonna show you how to make some quick pickles. A couple things about game I think that are important right out of the giddy up. With meats that are wild as opposed to farm-raised meats, they tend to run a little bit on the leaner side because they're cruising around town. You know, they're, they're building muscle, they're not gaining fat. It's gonna have a slightly deeper flavor than maybe classic pork that you're used to, but it's going to be leaner. So one of the important things is, is us not overcooking it. We're gonna smoke it so it's gonna be a little bit lower heat to start it, and then we'll finish it over high heat to get us our, the crust. So the first thing we're gonna do is make our rub. When I make a rub, any kind of rub, this is the ratio, one part salt, and then the other part is whatever seasonings I put in. I'm gonna put in a lot of the spices you'll find in pastrami. Coarse ground black pepper, sweet paprika. We're smoking, so I don't need additional smoke. Garlic powder, mustard seed, celery seed, and coriander. These seeds are whole, so I need to pulse them up. I'm gonna put them in my coffee mill and some celery seed, and I'm gonna put the coriander in last because I want the coriander to be a little bit more coarse. Remember, we're cooking with our senses. When you stop hearing like the BBs hitting the side, that means it's now a powder. So that goes in my coriander seed. I like the texture of coriander and it's gonna give the, our, our rub a little bit of texture. So here, listen, you hear it? Still BBs. So that goes in and now I mix my rub. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rub mustard on the exterior. It's gonna add flavor, which we love and it's also gonna be the glue that helps our rub stick. A lot of people think rub. That means rub. You don't need to rub it in. If we rub the meat, it kind of like clogs the pores, so to speak. So now the meat can't take on smoke. What I do is I season it liberally, then we flip it, do the same thing to the other side, and that's it. Any of the excess is just gonna fall off, and that's fine. Since we are indoors, we're gonna build like a little mini indoor smoker to try to fake the whole experience of barbecue a little bit. I have a half hotel pan. Now in the bottom of this pan, we are gonna put a small handful of chips, like that. We're gonna turn our burner on, and when this gets hot underneath, these are gonna start to smoke. Once they throw like the first run of smoke, then we'll get the meat going. But if I put it in here right now, it's gonna get too smoky. But once this fire kind of lights, we could blow it out and then the rough smoke is gonna be gone. Put our meat in a slotted pan. So now I'm just gonna do this. All right, so now look, see we just have embers in here now. This goes on top, we could turn our heat off, we wrap the top with foil, so the remaining smoke kind of stays in there a little bit. And now we're gonna go to our oven. We're gonna put the meat thermometer right in the middle so it's in the thickest part of the meat. It's at 67 internal temp right now. When it reaches 125, this will beep and we'll know. The oven's gonna be set at 275. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start building our liquid for our pickled vegetables. We're gonna put in a half cup rice vinegar, half cup white wine vinegar, half cup water, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of kosher salt, three cloves of garlic, a tablespoon of peppercorns, and a bay leaf. And we're gonna let this liquid come up to a boil. Jalapenos, Fresno shallots. If you want it to be spicy, you leave in the ribs and the seeds. If you want it to be less spicy, you remove the ribs and the seeds. Now we're gonna cut these into little rounds. Because these are pickled, they're getting those flavors and the sugar and the vinegar. That's also gonna pull some of the fire out of them. So the shallot, we're gonna cut these about the same thickness as our chilies. And now this liquid's been simmering pretty good, so you take this hot liquid, pour it over your cut veg. This is now basura. Give this a stir so everything is submerged in our pickling liquid, and we could set this off to the side. So as we're waiting on our boar, I'm gonna grill the bread for my bread salad. We have some rye bread. 
I'm gonna cut this, let's say for me, two fingers thick. So look at my fingers, look at your fingers, you know. I have meat hooks for hands, so we're gonna cut off the crust. I'm just gonna toast it and get some of that charry, smoky goodness that I want on there. I have celery leaves here, which are delicious by themselves. You're gonna be like, oh man, chef, these are really bitter. But with the sweet and acidic dressing and the spicy chilies, it's gonna be a balance. We're not gonna chop, chop, chop them. We're just loosely gonna go through here. So for the dressing, a tablespoon of honey, a tablespoon of mustard. There's gonna be hot spots on your grill, so if some are cooking faster, you could move them to get to the hot spot, move it to the other one. A couple ounces of lime juice. Use the tong trick so you don't have to have one more tool. All right, so now we're gonna whisk in the oil, pinch of salt. Now we're just gonna take our bread that we got crunchy on the outside and rip it into little croutons. All right, so now our veggies are quick pickled. And we'll just take some of those, sprinkle them on top. Come on, pork! Take our wild boar. It will now be resting. We're gonna put our pan on medium-high heat. We're gonna first hit the pan with a little bit of olive oil, a garlic clove, give it a little smash. And we are gonna set our boar gently into our fat. I'm gonna throw my garlic clove in. I'm gonna put in about two tablespoons of butter. You're gonna work the pan towards you a little bit and start basting your pork. And it's gonna help us develop a crust. It's gonna add some flavor. Whoop. And we have that garlic clove in there, so butter's flavored with a little bit of garlic. Turn our heat off. this here to chill for a second. Now we could dress our salad. So when you're dressing a salad, you take your dressing and you go around the edge of the bowl with it. Then you work the salad around the edge so it gets evenly coated. Take out our pork. Oh, it's beautiful. Having some of that pork fat on there not only helps keep everything moist, but it's a very nice fat to eat. Take our boar, take a little bit of our salad. We're gonna make sure when we get this on there, you get a little bit of everything. Then we're gonna take some of our extra dressing, go on top and around, a little bit of extra virgin oil. That's it. 